Nurul Islam grows rice on land that may soon be underwater. Here along the southeast coast of Bangladesh, climate change-related sea level rise threatens to submerge one million hectares of agricultural land and displace 40 million people, many of them farmers like Nurul. There are more storms. They are no longer predictable. Sometimes, if we have crops, we cut them and we tie them to containers which float. Within two or three hours, the water recedes. Then we struggle to start all over again. Nurul and his family have already been displaced once. When their farm was washed away 12 years ago, they moved here to this char, or new land, created naturally from layers of silt carried in rivers flowing down into the Bay of Bengal. But after more than a decade on Nolar Char, Nurul and his family still live without electricity and running water. And salt water intrusion has become a growing threat to his crops. There is no dam, so the high tide floods our land and sweeps away our seedlings. We replace the seedlings, but by the time the season comes to an end, the crop doesn't grow as it should and there is lower yield. In some cases, yields are half of what they should be, and as a result, poverty and malnutrition are growing in coastal communities. To avoid a bigger crisis, farmers need to adapt to climate change, says Thomas Rath from the International Fund for Agricultural Development. People have to adapt their, their livelihoods, have to adapt their, their production patterns, have to adapt the way they generate income to the changing environment. So in, in terms of uh, agriculture, agriculture has to invent and develop technologies that cope with the effects of climate change. Some of what Rath talks about is happening here, on another accrued patch of land known as Boyerchar. Newly constructed sluices prevent salt water from contaminating freshwater canals. And embankments, high enough to hold back a seven-meter rise in sea level, trace the coastline. Farmers, too, are being armed with training and new technologies. Anjana Baladas harvests a high-yielding variety of rice, specially bred to grow in salinated water. With this variety, we earn more, we can pay for our children's education, and we can also save a bit. Improving farmers' incomes while protecting them from climate change threats is the focus of an ambitious development project involving six branches of government and international donors like IFAD. Zanel Abedin is deputy team leader. Many uh, people lost their land two times or three times even. Uh, now we provided them many protections and they are now saved at least. So far, about one million coastal people have been assisted by the project. And now, back on Nolar Char, Nurul and his neighbors will soon be among them. It's hard to predict what impact climate change will have here over the coming decades. But for the immediate future, at least, efforts like this are buying farmers more time. <laughs>